Here I have the latest and greatest Mac Mini. This is the Mac Mini with M2 chip. It got released today and you already know the first thing I want to do is unbox it, tear it down, and take a look at its guts. So before we get started, let's take a look at the specs. This is the base model with 8 gigs of memory, 256 gigs of storage, and of course the all new Apple M2 silicon chip. So starting off, this is the same form factor as a previous generation. It actually shares the same IO as a previous generation as well. So on the front, we have an LED indicator. And on the back here, we have the power button, power input, ethernet, two Thunderbolt 4 ports, and the M2 Pro features four ports, an HDMI port, two USB-A ports, a headphone jack, as well as ventilation on the bottom. Before I begin, if you guys are enjoying the video, please leave a big thumbs up. It really motivates me to make these videos. Also, leave your comments down below. Let me know if you think this generation will look the same as the M1 chip. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check it out. Starting off on the bottom here, we're gonna use a plastic pry tool and pry up on the plastic base plate. That cover will pop right off. We're greeted with six TR6 security screws. And also I'll leave a breakdown of all these screws and parts used in the description. Once we have those six screws removed, we can gently lift the mesh metal plate. And be careful here because there's likely to be an antenna cable attached. The antenna cable is located right here, as well as another T6 Torx screw. And once we have that screw removed, we can gently pry up on the antenna cable here. And we can lift that metal plate out. So at first glance, this looks like the same internals as the M1 Mac Mini. There is a lot of open space in here, and Apple really could have slimmed down the size of their Mac Mini. To remove the computer fan, we're gonna loosen up four T5 Torx screws. Once those screws have been removed, we can gently pull on the CPU fan, and there will be a cable connected to it, and gently pry up on this. Now I'm also gonna take the time to disconnect the LED indicator as well as the power supply. The power supply connector simply pulls right out. To remove the logic board, we do need to remove two T10 torque screws. And these do have a lot of torque on them. Once those torque screws are out, we can apply a little bit of force going this way and push the logic board outside of the case. And here is the logic board for the new M2 Mac Mini. Before we go in depth on the logic board, I'm just gonna empty out the case of this Mac Mini. So there are three screws holding in the power supply and these are a T5 Torx. Once you remove those three screws, we're gonna flip the Mac over, remove this pin for the power supply connector, and now we can twist this power supply connector, and the power supply should slide right out. And now the casing of the new M2 Mac Mini has been completely emptied out. Let's go ahead and take a look at the logic board. 
First, I'm gonna remove the speaker with these two T5 Torx screws. Gently lift up and underneath will be a cable. I'm gonna undo the Bluetooth antennas here. Remove one T5 Torx screw here. On the back side, I'm going to loosen up the power switch cable. And then we're going to undo four T5 Torx screws for the heat sink. And it is helpful to loosen these diagonally. That way it doesn't place too much pressure on one side. And the last few screws for the heat sink are located be underneath these foam pads. These are secured with a T5 Torx screw. And we're gonna flip this over again. Loosen four more T5 Torx screws, two on either side here. Now we can lift up on the heat sink cover. And because we loosened those screws for the heat sink, the heat sink will also come right off. The rear IO shield will pop right off. And here is a close-up look at the M2 chip. So in the center here, we have Apple's M2 latest silicon chip. And on the right, we have the solid state drives. And for comparison, I have a standard iPhone 13 here. And you can see without the IOs, the computer is about the same size as a cell phone. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, please hit that like button if you found the video helpful. Subscribe to my channel. I really do appreciate it. Check out my channel for tech videos and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.